Hello everyone, it's me Keith again. Welcome to another beginner's guide tutorial. This vlog is dedicated to all beginners out there who wish to know anything and everything about computers. So if you have something in mind, please feel free to comment it down below and we are going to create a beginner's guide tutorial for you. We are going to make this tutorial quick and easy to learn. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me Keith again. Welcome to another Java tutorial. This time we are going to deal with identifying factorial numbers or identifying factorial results per number. Okay, so something like that. So first is we are going to define what a factorial is. So in a very simple definition, when we say a factorial, it is in mathematics, it's the product of all positive integers or positive numbers less than or equal to the given positive integer so it's like on this image what you are seeing right now this is an example of a factorial so it's like for example if we are dealing with seven factorial it means that you are going to multiply it seven times but by the time you are going to multiply it you need to deduct one on each step okay something like that okay so let's start First, we are going to visit, of course, our online compiler, which is jdoodle.com. Then we are going to choose our programming language. So I'm going to choose Java Advanced there. So this is our sample program right here. The class name is my class. So what I'm going to do is just to remove whatever statements are in here on the inside. Okay, and we are going to leave the opening and the closing as is so that we will not be modifying anything else so the first thing that we are going to do since we already know the very basics or the initialization of data types and integers as well as values if you're not familiar with it you can check out our previous tutorials okay so for this one we are going to initialize okay, i'm just going to provide comment here uh variables and its values something like that so let's say i'm going to initialize a data type integer so i'm going to name this one as number something like that and i'm going to use what we have just uh, described a while ago seven then another variable in factorial okay so the variable name is factorial and we are going to provide a value of this one as number so whatever value we have on this variable will be placed inside the new variable which is factorial something like that so up next is we are going to deal with a repetition structure okay so it's like a i'm just going to type it here repetition okay so it's like a repetition statement so we are going to use the for okay so on our upcoming tutorials we will be dealing with four in a multiple uh, multi multiple examples for four next time for now we are going to use this one for factorial so let's say i'm going to use four then in i so by the way i is like another variable so i'm just going to use i equals to number minus one so whatever the value of the number here okay the number variable will be deducted by one then afterwards another step is i should be greater than one okay which means um if ever you are going to deduct one on each step for example the number is seven you're going to deduct one on it make sure that you are going to end on a value which is greater than one okay so something like that then afterwards is the movement or the process which is i minus minus oops sorry something like that then we are going to open a new statement here okay there so in here it's like factorial is equal to fact 
factorial multiplied by i. So since we are dealing with a product as what we have defined a while ago, so when we say a factorial, so we are dealing with a product of all positive integers. So this is a positive integer, okay, less than or equal to a given positive integer. So it's like, so uh, the given number is 7, it will be deducted by 1 on each step. So since we are dealing with 4, so it's like it will not stop until it reaches a particular value which is greater than 1 and it will continue going down. Okay, something like that. So let's try to execute this one if this will work. I think there's something wrong with it. Oh yeah, I forgot to provide the system that out that print line. I'm sorry. So I need to place it here. <laughs> print line. So factorial of then we are going to concatenate it number which is 7, okay? So whatever the value is in there is then we are going to concatenate it again with the new value of factorial, something like that. So the factorial of 7, let's check if it's correct. Okay, it's 5040. Now let's try to use a different number. Let's say, what is the factorial of 5? If ever we are going to execute it, this is the result. So the factorial of 5 is 120. So it's like 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Okay, so that is how you are going to deal with factorials in Java. Okay, subscribe for more. And comment down below if you have questions. Bye for now.